Hey guys, today we're talking all about cream blushes. Perfect for summer. These are my absolute favorite. We're gonna get right into it. If you guys wanna subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. So the first blush that I absolutely adore is by NARS. There are multiple NARS blushes that I absolutely love, but this one right here is the liquid version. This is it dropped on my hand. It is so pigmented. It is more of that like baby doll blush kind of color. It's like the most perfect formula, the most perfect finish, and I think it looks so stunning. And I am wearing it today and I absolutely love it. Again, I love so many products and so many blushes from NARS, but this one has to be one of the best liquid ones that I've tried. The next one is gonna be from e.l.f. This is their Putty Blush. This is literally no surprise. This is a brand new one. I have so many of these and I love every single one. I'm gonna list on the screen the names that I love. I love the shade Bali and I love the shade Tahiti. They're so smooth, so pigmented, and they're like $6. I think this is like the best cream blush that you can get at the drugstore. Like I said, it's so pigmented and lasts all day. So it starts out as a cream and as you apply, it dries down to more of like a matte finish so there's no shimmer to this one at all i think it looks gorgeous on bare skin i think it looks gorgeous with the full glam look there is some wiggle room as you're applying so it's not going to dry down instantly and i think this can totally be a dupe for the nars cream blush which i should have mentioned when i shared the liquid blush same exact shade this one is just the liquid and this one is the air matte blush definitely going to dry down to more of that mattifying blush and it feels really soft so like bouncy and i totally feel like the elf one is a dupe for the nars one so if you're looking for a cream blush that's inexpensive go for the elf one but also the nars one is just as good these patrick top blushes you guys are the best they're the double take cream and powder blushes so i do have three shades that i love the she's blushing then we have the she's a doll and then the she's vibrant love the way he designed the packaging it's really elegant and chic and just aesthetic but also very functional especially if you are a makeup artist or if you're just doing it on yourself love the fact there's a little acrylic cover right here that protects the cream product which is the cream blush and there's also the powder blush in here as well and there's also a mirror in here which just makes everything so much better. So the cream product that we are talking about today is the cream blush on the top of these compacts. I'm obsessed with these cream blushes. They are so, so pigmented. Also a little pro tip, which I'm sure everyone already knows, but if you have a favorite lipstick and you wanna make it into a blush, it could be doubled as a blush. Just dab a little bit on your cheeks and blend it out and there's your cheek color. It's a cream blush. Honestly, one of the best ones that are high end in my opinion. This one's in the shade She's a Doll, which is clearly my absolute favorite. I'm always using this cream one right here and then I always go over top of it with this one. This one is definitely more of that like baby doll bright pink and they don't really move throughout the day, which is amazing. And blushes are that product that definitely will start fading throughout the day first. These I feel like are so pigmented that I don't notice it fading a crazy amount, which is nice. It's so smooth, so silky, blends on the cheeks like a dream. And then I have this one as well that I love, which is She's Blushing. So pretty, it's a little bit deeper. I have been more in love with the bright pinks, like I mentioned, but the deeper kind of pink blushes, especially for cream, I think are so flattering and are gorgeous. So if you haven't tried the Patrick Ta blushes, I would highly recommend them. Like I said, you get a two for one situation where it's the cream and the powder all in one. And I think it's great for on the go. Next one being more of a soft matte finish is gonna be this one from LA Girl. And this is their soft matte blush. The shade Rosebud in particular is my favorite. These blend so good and the pigment is crazy. So bright and vibrant, but again, once it's blended on the cheeks, it just blends in and gives you the most beautiful flush color. And I feel like for all these blushes that I'm mentioning today, it's kind of repetitive. They are kind of all the same tones, which is just what I reach for. Even though they look and sound the same right now, I feel like once they're actually applied and with the makeup look itself, they just look so different. This one is more of that soft matte finish and you can totally feel it. A little bit goes a long way with this baby, so you don't need a lot. There's also a few other shades that I like from them as well, but this one is definitely hands down like the perfect trendy blush color right now obsessed. We have this one right here from Laura Mercier. This is so good, you guys. I've mentioned this so many times. This one's in the shade Southbound and it's a beautiful, beautiful light pink color. Oh my goodness, like literally so pretty. So this one is more of like that liquid blush. It is very soft and smooth to the touch. It definitely has the same like tone as most of these, but it blends in the skin like butter. It's like that pale kind of pink tone and I think looks so flattering, especially on my skin tone. I just think it is literally gorgeous. Sometimes I'll use this one and then use a shimmer blush on top of it. It looks so, so stunning. Totally can wear this on bare skin or like that no makeup makeup day. I love using cream blushes for that purpose. I think it looks so natural and so pretty. Next blush is gonna be this one from Pixi. This is the On The Glow blush and this is a tinted moisture stick. Super convenient, perfect if you're traveling or just on the go, you wanna have that quick, simple, everyday makeup look, the no makeup makeup look. It is the perfect kind of stick blush. It gives so much pigment. This one's in the shade Fleur. 
I think that's how you pronounce it. But very, very hydrating. Look at how much moisture that is. It almost looks like a lipstick. I would highly recommend that if you want more of that moisture to your blush and you don't want it to be mattifying or you don't want to have any shimmer and you want it to just have that natural glow look, that is the perfect one for you. Perfect applicator as well. If you would like to do so, if not, you can just kind of dab it with your finger or a brush, but I think it is so, so stunning. And that shade in particular is divine. Next cream blush is gonna be by the brand Undone Beauty. This one is more new for me, but I love it, you guys. This one's in the shade Flare. So this one is a cheek and lip product just like most of the other ones, but this one is packed with moisture. Do we see how glowy that is? So hydrating. This one dries down a little bit more, but it doesn't leave your cheeks. I like to use this one underneath any other powder ones that I use, and it's so gorgeous. You can use your finger, you can use a beauty sponge, however you want to apply it. So moisturizing, almost looks like a lip gloss. Like that's how glossy it is. Very, very pretty, so. Love that. Again, this one's in the shade Flare, but they do have multiple shades as well. And it's like that no makeup makeup vibe. Next cream blush, which I believe is my last one, is gonna be from Jones Road Beauty. This is the Miracle Balm. So beautiful. This one has a little bit more of luminosity, but shimmer to it. Very, very soft to the touch. It is a balm consistency, but it has a lot of pigments. I like to use this product when it's more on the everyday, no makeup makeup, like minimal makeup. It's like an effortless blush. I love it. It's in the shade Flushed. It smells really good. It almost feels like a body butter in a way. Like it is so, so smooth, but gives a lot of pigment for it being more of like that sheerish kind of blush. I would say to use this underneath foundation or if you wanna use it on top of foundation, I would recommend more of like a tinted moisturizer. I think that this is so, so good. Those are all the cream blushes that I have to share with you guys today. Like I said, these are the ones that I'm reaching towards right now. My go-tos and ones that I would so recommend to you guys. Let me know what cream blushes you guys like. I would love to try other ones. There's one from Rare Beauty that I still need to try and a few other ones as well. That is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.